everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a feel so of course the first thing that we have to do is get rid of all of the bling so i'm just using a pair of nippers to take it off and as you can see everything stayed on really really good and they actually still look good but it has been over two weeks and after we finish removing the bling from those nails we're going to go ahead and start removing the gel polish so um, what I did for this set was I did the encapsulated holographic silver glitter and then I did a blue jelly polish over that glitter so it gives, gave it that effect. Um, but now I'm going in with a coarse drill bed to remove the gel polish and at first she wanted to keep the glitter in her nails but then she ended up changing her mind so you will see me come back and just file off that glitter as well so make sure that you're using a coarse drill bit when you're doing this because if not you're going to be filing all day so again we're just removing the bling and the gel polish and then whenever you start removing the encapsulated glitter you're just gonna have to file a little bit harder and a little bit longer on those nails to get rid of all of the um, glitter or whatever you have encapsulated and the way to be able to get all of this off is literally just by making sure that when you do the full set at first that you do a layer of acrylic that way whenever you come back to file the glitter off you're not having to take off the whole set because you still have that acrylic underneath and then also here i'm just showing you like this nail was lifted a little bit around the cuticle area and i'm just using my same drill bit to get rid of that lifting you don't want to use a nipper a pair of nippers to remove that lifting because it's only going to make it worse so just make sure you go around the cuticle area with your drill bit and just get rid of that lifted area and then of course if it's a lot of lifting then just go ahead and remove the nail and reapply a new nail on there
Alrighty, so we're on the last nail and after we finish removing the gel polish, we're going to go ahead and just push back those cuticles. So I'm just using my Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick Cuticle Pusher and then I'm going to switch over to this cuticle pusher because her cuticles are a little bit sensitive and the other one was a little bit more rough. So again, we're just pushing back those cuticles and after this, we're going to go in with a 180 sanding band and we're just going to be removing the shine from the natural nail. Remember, when you're doing this, we're literally only filing the natural nail to get rid of the shine we don't want to thin the nail out or anything so make sure that you only use a 180 sending bend and also making sure that you're only removing the shine our natural nails produce a lot of oils which means that if you don't remove the shine your nails are going to lift very easily so this step is really really important So once we're done removing the shine from the natural nails, we're going to go ahead and apply the primer. So as always for that, I'm using my OPI Bondex. You guys know that I use this one because I have a lot of OPI product left. So I'm just trying to get rid of it, but it works for me really, really good. But just make sure that you use whatever primer works for you. I know sometimes some products may work for me, but they might not work for you. So it's just going to be a trial and error and just trying out different products to see what is best for you you and your clients alrighty so we're gonna go ahead and start applying the acrylic so as always I'm using my Mia secret acrylic system in the color pink and then my brush is by alpha brush in a number 10 and I'll be sure to leave the link in the description as well as the promo code and then also now that I'm thinking about it I also have a promo code through nail supply glamour as you guys know i recently visit them um, when i was in dallas and i was able to get a promo code through them so i do have a video that i want to post um, but again i will leave the link in the description but anyways we're applying the acrylic and since we did have to file down a lot on the nails to remove the glitter we are having to apply a little bit more acrylic to basically get the nails back at a good thickness um, because again we had to to remove that glitter so make sure that when you're doing this you look at the nail from different angles and just make sure that your tip is you know thick enough that you have a good apex because your apex is where your nail gets its strength from so if you hit it on something it's not going to break off so easily but for the most part as you can see i applied my bead closer to the cuticle area pat it down and i brush it down towards the tip and then also making sure that we clean around that cuticle area with the very tip of our brush to make sure that the product is not on the skin because if not you will get lifting and then after that i'm just applying more acrylic to the tip because they are pretty thin due to me removing all of that glitter so again if you are removing glitter from a set make sure that they are the appropriate thickness um, that way you don't get any breakage and then every time you you see me lift the finger up a little bit that's me looking at the nail from the sides to see where i need to add more product that's that way i'm not just adding product anywhere and i won't have so much filing to do at the end So the process is basically going to be the same thing over and over again as always. Just placing your bead closer to the cuticle area, brushing it down, and then of course if you were just doing a regular feel without you know having to add more product due to filing at the beginning um, then we would just focus really mainly on the cuticle area because that's what we're filling in but of course like i mentioned earlier i'm having to add more acrylic because i did have to file down 
the nails quite a bit due to the glitter so um it's always going to be different for different people um depending i guess on the situation whether you're just doing a regular feel if you're encapsulating something or if you had to remove the glitter like i did at the beginning um but it's always going to be the same thing just placing your beads gently brushing them down towards the tip and then also making sure that your tip is not too thin and making sure that you have a nice apex and basically your apex if you don't know is like right in the middle of the nail closer to the cuticle area and what that does is just making sure that your nail does not break off really easily because if you hit it on something that's where it gets the strength from so if your apex is really weak or really thin your nail will break off super easily so you want that part to be the thickest part on the nail And again, my acrylic that I'm using is by Mia Secret in the color pink. And then my brush is by Alpha Brush in a number 10 and it's an oval shape. And as you guys know, I absolutely love their brushes. They work really good for me and they are really inexpensive. So I'll be sure to leave those promo codes down in the description because I know that we all love a good deal. Okay, so we're done applying the acrylic. So now I'm gonna go in and reshape the nails. And I kind of slowed it down a lot so you guys can see at what angle I'm falling. 
So as always, filing at a 45 degree angle on the sides and a 90 degree angle at the free edge. And as you can see, it's exactly a 90 degree angle at the free edge to make sure that it's super, super, super straight. Hopefully, or hopefully the speed kind of helped a little bit, but again, holding your file at a 45 degree angle on the sides. And this is for when you're doing coffin. And then also when you're doing stiletto, you hold it at a 45 degree angle, but the only difference is you would round off the tip, of course. And for this one, you file it at a 90 degree angle to make sure that it's super straight. And like I've said before, if you have a really good shape, the nails are gonna look a lot better. So make sure that you spend a little bit more time shaping your your nails when you are a beginner um that way you know it helps your nails look better um, but anyways we're gonna go ahead and finish reshaping all of the nails as always i'm using a 100 100 nail file So after we finish reshaping the nails, I'm going to go in with my e-file using my fine drill bit to file the cuticle area as well as the rest of the nail. So make sure that you always first focus on that cuticle area to make sure that you seal that acrylic around that cuticle area really, really good because that's where your lifting will come from. And as you notice throughout the video, I mentioned the cuticle area a lot. I probably say cuticle area like a million times in each video, but that just goes to show how important this is because for one, you don't want any of that product on the skin because it is going to basically automatically cause you lifting. And then also at the end, you want to make sure that you file around the cuticle area really good because that's what's going to seal the acrylic around there to make sure that you don't get any lifting. So even whenever I have like really good, you know, like flawless or I, I don't I don't want to say flawless, but a smooth application, um, you know, I still go back and focus on that cuticle area really good because I feel like no matter how good you apply the acrylic, you still have to go in and seal that acrylic because any little gap that's left in between the natural nail and the acrylic will cause the nail to lift. So again, make sure that you focus on the cuticle area, just going from the right side over to the left side with your fine drill bit. And then once you're able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is, that's how you know that you filed good enough. But as a beginner, it is gonna take a little bit of work. We all kind of go through the same steps of getting lifting and not being able to prevent it, but I promise it only takes practice and with time you will get better so make sure you don't get discouraged over this because i promise you that it happens to all of us so just make sure that you're filing really really good and then of course this can also be done with a hand file so if you're not experienced with an e-file just yet um you could also do it with the hand file but for me it was always a little bit harder working with um an, a hand file when i was filing around the cuticle area that's why i decided to just go ahead and start using an e-file and of course i was also scared to use the e-file when i first got it um, but the only way to get better is is by practicing and that's pretty much how it goes so make sure that when you're doing this again just focus around the cuticle area and same thing if you are using an e-file
Alrighty, so now I'm just going to go in with my buffer. And as always, this is just to make sure that you don't have any scratches on the nail. And then as you can see here, I'm just going to go in and just fill on the nail. And if I still feel like a little rough spot, I go back and buff a little bit more. So make sure that you check each nail after you buff them because you want to make sure that they're nice and smooth. Because if not, if you just go ahead and apply the polish, you will be able to see those scratches through the polish. So make sure that you check check each nail before you go back and apply polish and after this we're just going to dust the nails off wipe them off with an alcohol wipe or as always you could have your client go wash their hands whatever is more convenient to you So now I'm just wiping off the nails with an alcohol wipe and as you can see I felt that this nail was still a little bit rough so I just go in and buff a little bit more and then I just wipe it off. So remember it's really important that you check to make sure that they're all nice and smooth. But now we're going to go in with our polish and I am using the color Blood Orange by Madame Glam. As always I do have a promo code for them so I'll be sure to leave that down in the description but we're going to go ahead and just do this on all of the nails and then on the ring finger we're going to be doing a negative space nail which means that it's going to be color a combination of color and then clear in between um, but again this is in a color blood orange we're going ahead and just doing one coat we're going to cure them for 30 seconds and then we're going to come back and do the second coat And before I cure, I go back and clean around that cuticle area. And for that, I'm using my alpha brush in a number six, which I believe is a, it's either a small line brush or a French brush. I can't remember what they call it. Um, and then also I forgot that I have to go in and do the ring finger. So I'm just using a small nail art brush and I'm basically doing a triangle starting from the cuticle area and just going to like the middle of the nail and just filling in the triangle. And then I'm going to leave that negative space or the clear space in the middle. And then I'm going to do the other triangle at the tip, kind of going from like the side of the nail from like the side wall to the center of the nail like closer to the tip if that makes sense um, and then i'm also using my little small cleanup brush to make sure that it's all nice and neat and that the lines are really really straight so again i just go from the side of the nail and go into the center and then just fill in the little sides as well and that's going to give us the negative space nail. and you can do this you know multiple ways you can do nail or uh, not nails but lines straight across where you do like polish clear polish clear or you can do it um like a kind of like a french tip you could also do it that way and there's different ways that you can do it but i believe they call it a negative space nail correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that's what it is after this we're going to go ahead and just cure them for 30 seconds and we're going to do the same thing on the other hand
Alrighty, and then also something else that I've been wanting to mention is that people a lot of the time ask me how do I keep from the gel from taking away from my shape if that makes sense I know a lot of the time um, after you apply gel polish since it is a little bit on the thicker side or at least it's thicker than regular nail polish it kind of round off your nails so what I usually do is I literally like dab the sides of the nails so if you see me like kind of wiping off the tip of the nails that's what I'm doing is literally just making sure that the nails are not rounded at the tip so i'm not just taking all of the polish off from the um free edge i'm literally just making sure that it's not thick so i'm just dabbing it or wiping it or whatever you want to call it but um i'll probably show you here let's see if i show you and I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it already because i know somebody mentioned something about why am i wiping off the polish on the sides but that's what i'm doing i'm just making sure that the gel polish is not taken away from my shape Alrighty, so once this hand is cured, we're going to go in with some hard gel and I'm going to be applying some of my 3D pieces. So I just placed the bead of the hard gel with my wax pencil, just picking up the bling and just placing it right in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 30 to 60 seconds. Remember, all lights are different. So yours might require for it to dry for a little bit longer or less so again i'm just curing for 30 seconds just place your hard gel and then place your little uh crystals like in a little cluster and after that i'm gonna just go in with some smaller ones which i'm using my ss6 and ss12 ab rhinestones and i'm just applying them on the like top and bottom of the cluster um and honestly i feel like it took away from our negative space now but this is how she wanted it so my clients always get what they want Alrighty, so we went ahead and just did the same thing on the other hand. And after this, we're going to go ahead and apply the IBD gel top coat. And then, especially for this one, you will see me wipe off the sides of the nails because the top coat can also be pretty thick and it can also take away from your shape. So usually I wait until the after I've already like applied the top coat on all of the nails and then I come back through and just tab the sides of the nails so again i'm not just removing all of the polish from the sides i'm just making sure that i keep that perfect coffin shape
Alrighty, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Here is the final look. They turned out so pretty and that color is just flawless. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at GetNo32. And I'll see you guys next time.